Today we're going to be showing you how to make a quick and easy copycat Starbucks sous vide egg bite recipe. Um, highly customizable, high in fat, great if you're doing the keto diet or a low carb diet, great breakfast for on the go. So you can add anything from bacon bits to chives to different types of cheeses, just whatever floats your boat for the week. Um, again, they're super easy and simple and they are um, essentially exactly like the Starbucks ones, but with cleaner ingredients. Diet. They're really high fat, um, and you can make them higher in fat by adding things like MCT oil. So uh, these are the simple ingredients that you'll need to make our version of the Starbucks egg bites that we're gonna be playing with today. Uh, first of all, you just need four sizable eggs, a fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream, a cup and a half of your favorite grated cheese of choice, uh, this is actually a mix of both a spicy habanero and a Monterey Jack. Uh, so we did half of both and kind of mixed it together. And then you'll also need a half cup of cottage cheese. Uh, we're really liking this good culture cottage cheese. It is really creamy, really good, and it's all natural and grass fed. It's just um, pretty simple ingredients as you can see. And we're just really liking this new brand that we just got. So we make our egg bites in the silicone baby bliss baby food freezer trays. Um, easy to take the lid on and off and then we fill them about halfway uh, to make the egg bite. So if you fill them, you could fill them all the way to the top but it makes them a little too fluffy. So it's best just to fill them halfway. It's great because then after they cook you can store them with the lid just like this and it snaps on. Super easy and convenient. Uh, again, the Baby Bliss brand we found to be our favorite and it's linked below uh, if you'd like to purchase one for yourself. For a bunch of other recipes in the Instant Pot, um, other things like brownie bites or even um, we found that you can freeze soup in it and then just pop out little individual soup pods and microwave them when you're ready for a single serving of a specific soup. The first thing you want to do is just add one cup of water to your Instant Pot. So for this version, because we're not doing bacon, we like to add a little bit of red pepper chili flakes to some of them as well. So you just sprinkle a couple on top. Um, I won't do it to all of them because the habanero cheese that we used is pretty, pretty hot, um, but this just adds a nice little flavor to the top of the egg bite. Then what you're going to do is take a piece of foil and loosely cover. Um, you don't want it tight, just kind of loosely lay it over. Kind of leave a little tint on the top just so that air can flow through it. And then you place within here. All right, turn it off. Okay, so next what you'll do is just put your Instant Pot lid on. Make sure you set it to sealing. So it's set to ceiling. Then go back on and we're gonna put it on the steam setting and set the time to eight minutes. So once the steam, the eight minute steam has finished, just let it do a natural release. So don't move the seal valve to venting, just let it do a natural release for 10 minutes. So this is actually a little timer and it will just count down for you. After 10 minutes, you just go ahead and let it vent and the pin should drop. So the great thing about these egg bites is that they're pretty customizable. Um, as I showed you earlier, you can use different types of cheese. You can use different types of cottage cheese. Um, another replacement, if you're not a huge fan of cottage cheese, you can easily replace the cottage cheese with cream cheese instead. Uh, we like to add about a tablespoon of MCT oil to the egg mixture. Uh, just helps kind of increase the healthy fats gets um, makes them a little creamier a little smoother so that's great this is our favorite mct oil that we found it's by sports research and we're linking to it below 